as we start every show, Big Sills. Oh, hey, Big Sills. What a time, man. Nine days to the NFL draft. Nine days to the NFL draft. I mean, there are so many great storylines in sports right now. Never in a million years would I ever have said this. I'm going to watch the WNBA draft. And I did last night because of Caitlin Clark. By the way, I didn't realize that she's only going to make for the next four years $330,000 base salary. She should take that Ice Cube deal. We had Cube on yesterday, and he talked about it. Cube offered her $5 million bucks to play in the league for one year. Why wouldn't you take that deal? Three hundred thirty grand versus $5 million. Now, she's going to make a boatload of money in advertising. You know, she made more money at Iowa than she's going to make in the WNBA. She made last year over a million bucks in NIL. This year, she's going to make 70 grand base salary. It was worth it to go back to college for one year. Think about that. She's appointment setting television. That's what you're talking about. Now, the question with that will be how long? Will that last? Is she going to go into the WNBA? Many people think that she's going to go and struggle. Well, like every other rookie does. I don't think she's going to go in and dominate the league. But people are going to want to watch it. I know I am. I've never watched a WNBA game in my life. But I'm going to watch an Indiana game because she's in it. I, I, I thought it was wonderful. All right. So it's been like 24 hours since I said something about the Devontae Smith slash A.J. Brown relationship and how this new contract could affect the relationship, more so with the team than with each other. Philly not paying $225 million uh, wide receivers. 304, right? They're not paying two wide receivers $25 million. Not for another three years. Absolutely true. They're, they're not. They're, they're not. You're right. Okay? But here, I don't know about you. I was just talking to Xander. Somebody at my company or your company or whomever you were out producing was making the same money as you. Wouldn't you have a bitch? I would. You're not paid for championships in the NFL. <laughs> Jalen Hurts is a prime example of that. Kyler Murray is a prime example of that. Josh Allen's a prime example of that. Lamar Jackson's a prime example of that. You're not paid for titles. You're paid for numbers. Jalen Hurts is not paid for winning championships. He, it, I mean, got close once. The other two years, not nearly as close. I mean... Dak Prescott is another example of that. You do not get paid for winning titles in the NFL. Facts. Look at the quarterbacks. Look at the receivers. Every big-time wide receiver that has big-time deals has never won a championship. Cup did and Tyreek did before they got their big money. But the other guys... A.J. Brown, Devontae Adams, D.K. Metcalf. Those guys aren't close to winning titles at all. Okay? Facts. Facts. You win with numbers. So I went on my Twitter and everyone's like, why are you trying to break up the team? Why are you saying that there'll be bad blood between? 
there won't be any bad blood between, but AJ Brown has a bitch. If you think $25 million is the value of what Devontae Smith has brought to the Philadelphia Eagles, what is the price tag that you think A.J. Brown is worth? He's outplayed his contract in Philly. When does he go and get his new numbers? This is about, get this. When you guys and I see LJ, nobody gives a fuck about the cap number when you're a player. What does that have to do with my direct deposits? Nothing. Zero. Nobody cares when you're a player what the cap hit is. Nobody gives a shit about it. How much am I making? All I care about. Cap hit. You think A.J. Brown gives a shit what the cap hits are for Devontae Smith or himself? No. No one cares when you're a player. A.J. Brown is going to want more money, and rightfully so. I'm on his side here. Sills, pause the show. Where's the red deal? Why do you think the Eagles are moving away from defense at Philly Staple for a long time? 34. Good call. Where's the Reddick deal in New York? Wow. That was some trade. It's still to come. Okay, wake me up when it comes. Hey, man, no football player who's being paid in the National Football League right now gives a shit about cap hits. Nobody cares. AJ's going to go like this. If you think that that guy is worth $25 million. How much do you think I'm worth? By the way, when you're talking money, that has nothing to do with Devontae and and, uh, A.J. Brown's relationship. It has nothing to do with it. But yet what people have said is, on my Twitter page, at the Ancilio Show, they're like, oh, you're trying to create an issue. No, my money has nothing to do with you. But, You set the market price now for the Eagles. You think what that guy has done is worth $25 million. There is no question that guy's a $30 million wide receiver now. He deserves a $5 million a year bump. When did the Eagles address that? When do they address that? When? Well, the cap hits. And the, who gives a shit? What am I making? Why is he making as much as me when I do more than him? Why? Correct. Pay me more. If I'm A.J. Brown, I demand my agent contact them immediately and ask what they're going to do about my contract. we got two years left. I don't give a shit. I want you to pay me more money than him. Anybody in the NFL that's a player understands that. The quarterbacks do. Here's why. Address what? RTF. Why is he making the same money for me as me when I do more than him? We play the same position. Quarterbacks, every year, they get upped. Whether it's Justin Herbert, he makes more than Jalen. Lamar made more than Jalen. Burrow made more than Jalen. Why isn't it AJ's turn? Are you not going to address it? Okay. Look at LJ. Oh, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, honey. Settle down, gossip girl. This guy has no idea what he... He has zero credibility with me. Zero. 
Because all he does is he's like the Joker. He just wants to see shit burn down. Even if he's wrong, it doesn't matter. It's okay, honey. It's okay, sweetheart. So he, get this. BJ doesn't believe that a guy who has done more than the next guy on a football team who's outperformed him, who just got a brand new contract, doesn't deserve to have his contract redone. Oh, okay. It's not drama, man. That's how the world works in the NFL. Quarterbacks get new contracts all the time. So do wide receivers. You're gauged in this league by your numbers and your salary, not by how many championships you win. Actually, this is the only conversation that championships don't matter. Wide receivers, it doesn't matter if you're a winner or a loser. Because you're going to make your money if you're one of the elite guys. Okay? Get this. Ty goes like this. That's only silly old watching other players' money. So let me tell you what this guy doesn't know. Hang on for a second. I want to get something for you. I'm going to get this. Don't mean to leave the screen. But let me get this for you. I'll show you why Ty's full of shit. Do you know what this is? I am a member of the National Football League Player Association. For life. For life. And do you know what this organization says? Do you know what it says? Don't ever take pay cuts. And when anybody on your football team makes more money, demand more because you're looking out for the guy next in line to make more money. I'm not the only one. The league, the Players Association does that. Everybody in the league does that. The only people that don't do that are the stupid fans, like Ty. Okay? Get your money, Hollywood. You're damn right. RTF, you're damn right. Hey, RTF. Just qu just curious. You got one of these? Hey, BJ, you got one of these? BJ, you got one of these? Dude, anyone can be on the NFL PA. Not with former player up there, dickhead. <laughs> Ty, the former player. Anybody can be. And let's just show you how stupid that guy Ty is. You know how he is? Get this. In 108 years of pro football, only 26,000 men have held a card like that. Anybody can? Really? Really? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about, son. A.J. Brown should get more money. I want him to. Underdog, fans don't understand it's a job for these athletes. Correct. They think it's about going and playing in Philly. It's got nothing to do with it. Correct, dude. And it, here, watch this. Um, thanks for the $2. You just printed a card on your old printer. Okay. Yeah, probably so. Sure. No problem, LJ. Sure. Here, I probably printed this one too. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh. Oh, this one's nice too, Xander. This one's nice too. Get to go to lifetime pass to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Big sills down there, bottom. I'm sure you got one of those too, Ty. Got this one here too, right? Yeah, I sure did that one already. It's not that big a deal. What else do I got in here? Surely I got something else in here. Let's see. Let's see. Do I got my... 
Um, I don't have my. I don't know where my NFL alumni card. Is. Oh, I know where it is. It's right here. <laughs> my NFL alumni card. I got that somewhere too. I'm sure you got one of those too, right? The point is bringing those out. Players do look out for one another. Smith four voidable years till 2032. Credit card Howie. To construct a deal that's as spectacular as ever. You have a laminator at home. Me too. I don't even know what a laminator is. Hey, dude. Okay. They're phony. They're phony. Okay. <laughs> sure. LJ, I'm sure you think that. Because most media people hate that. AJ won't get a raise. Lamb, Chase, etc. get paid. I think AJ Brown should. I do. All right. Let's move on. And get into some of the topics here. RG3 is a prime example of showing you how a guy who covers a football team has no oh before i continue we're also going to do a little business in the draft of what possible moves i see the eagles potentially making to improve the already shitty defense but rg3 posted something that the eagles have the best roster in the nfl let me see how many people believe that the philadelphia eagles have the best roster in the nfl let me hear you say 